This video is sponsored by Motion VFX. More on that later. Hey Megan, I got an idea. Today I'll be breaking down these scenes for you guys and showing you guys how to create cinematic videos at home with the things you probably already have. And I'll be showing you the final shots and the story at the very end of this video, so do stay tuned. And with that said, let's go! For this video, I had this idea of a girl coming back home, awaiting something really really special. And I had this idea with the fishes for the longest time and I'm so glad that I found someone who could do it for me so well. His name is Kenji, he's an illustrator, animator, and cartoonist and he's a friend of mine. And I'll be leaving all of his links in the description below so please do show him some love. He was amazing and super friendly and super nice about this so check him out. Before I get into that, I would love to say a big big thank you to Motion VFX for sponsoring this video. All the labels, titles, even the message bubbles you saw in the beginning, all of that is from them and I would like to tell you a little bit more about Motion VFX. They have a wide range of motion graphics for the main editing platforms like DaVinci Resolve, Premiere, and Final Cut Pro. Their packs are great if you need cinematic LUTs for example, bokeh to add on to your clips in post for example. They also have great ready-made intros for your YouTube channel and call-out buttons that you will be seeing very soon as I explain my process in this video. I suck at graphics and animation so it was a big lifesaver and it makes my YouTube videos so much more pleasant to watch. I will leave my link below so that you guys can check them out. For this scene, all you need is a little bit of space, a washing machine, and if you don't have a washing machine, then do you wash your clothes with your washboard apps? <laughs> okay, that was a bad joke. Anyways, and last but not least, you're gonna need a light, a small light. And if you do not have a LED light or like a small light, then do not panic, do not worry. You can always use your phone flashlight or you can use a torch light whatever you think is best for you or maybe like a small lamp and if you do want to get a small LED light like mine here uh, I got mine off of Amazon I think it costs around 20 to 30 bucks so it's still quite affordable so if you want to then go ahead and check it out on Amazon this is an example where I use my phone flashlight in the back of a trunk just to light up my face a little bit and these are the final results With that being said, I put my LED light into my washing machine so, th so that it looked a little more magical and as if the light were to come out of the washing machine like the fishes did. Lastly, you can now add animations of fishes, fire or whatever you want. It's actually all up to you. And if you can't animate like my friend Kenji can, then do not worry. There are like a thousand green screen um, YouTube videos that you can find and download. And even without animations, this shot is a really cool shot. I promise you. This has to be one of my favorite shots I've ever done, so let's get into it. For this shot, I left my LED light in my washing machine, but since the fishes and the water were supposed to like come out, I added a blue light on top of my head to create a more realistic feel of being under the water or in the middle of the sea. I tried fitting my blue LED light as well in the washing machine, but that did not go as planned. <laughs> However, I did put my camera in the washing machine with a small tripod on it so that we have sort of like a POV from the washing machine and that was the look I was going for. If you guys don't have a light like this, don't worry. You guys can also use whatever lamps or lights you guys have and buy blue, maybe like blue transparent paper or whatever color transparent paper that you guys would like to have and put it over your lamp or your flashlight. I would definitely recommend using an LED lamp or flashlight just because if you use something with a light bulb it might burn or it might catch on fire so do take precaution on that part and yeah be careful
I really like this scene too and it's gonna be the last part of our video today but I am going to show you how we did it so let's go for this scene, I left my LED light behind me in my washing machine as well but this time I wanted to create a water refraction kind of look on my face If you guys haven't seen my recent video, I also explain how I did it there but in a different situation For this scene, you guys are going to need a bright light or lamp Here is the light that I am using today and you are going to need an emergency blanket which you can always find in the back of your car in the first aid kit and if you guys don't have a first aid kit in your car get help <laughs> no i'm kidding but um if you do not have an emergency blanket in hand you can always get them from online or amazon they cost me around seven to eight bucks i think then i went ahead and put my emergency blanket on my trash cans because i didn't have enough tripods to hold them and it worked out just fine i would say i then aimed my 60 watt light onto the blanket to create the water refraction effect and to make it seem as natural as possible, you might want to shake your emergency blanket just a little bit to create that effect or illusion that the water is moving. And because I film alone 90% of the time, I had to shake it while filming um, my scene, so I hope you guys did not notice that. <laughs> and here is the final result. 